a lot of people have been talking about it on social media. Um, Aaron Donald, the best defensive player ever. I'm like, the further we get away from past generations, the, the more we forget. I'm like, have yeah. you forgotten Reggie White? Have you forgotten yeah. Lawrence Taylor? Have you yeah. forgotten these guys? Now listen, trust me, you know, Aaron Donald's great, the Watt brothers are great in their own right, but those guys don't hold a candle. I'm sorry, they don't hold a candle to a guy like Reggie White and a guy like yeah. Lawrence Taylor. They just don't. They're playing but in a different game. If it was in this particular league, I don't think, you know, they could have blocked me and Joe Green uh, coming off the ball. Um, as much as they pass, you know, but he was being double teamed with the, the guard and, and, and center and I mean, constantly. And obviously the Steelers wouldn't have as many championships if it wasn't for him. How do you get, how do you get caught up in that hyperbole in the moment? You know, you can't, you can't uh, be pretty, objective. You can't be objective about what the truth really is, man. Come on. Pretty, hey, pretty simple, man. Pretty simple. These people do it all the time. <laughs> Come on. We look at headlines all the time, man. It's like, you know, uh, <laughs> the best ever, you know, greatest I've ever seen. I mean, it's like, come on, seriously, dude. And that's just why th there are so many, uh, even when I look back, there are many, so many great players, great players that are not in the Hall of Fame uh, because the game, obviously, they didn't get the amount of attention that they get today. They didn't have social media. Um, the game was completely different. I mean, that's a, that's a real valid point here. That it's a the game was different. 